Life is funny and sometimes strange. It still all turns out the way you think. But if you want some. Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Heidi Sample Home. I know it has been a long, long time since I have posted here on this channel, mainly because I've been so busy working on things over on my Heidi Sample DIY channel. Anyway, today we are doing a tour of my house, what it looks like for Valentine's Day. I know it's just around the corner, but I wanted to share what it looked like since I decorated for it anyway. I first had to share that we finally got snow. We were waiting all through November, December, January, and we just were not getting snow here in St. Louis. And so the snow finally came. It was such a pretty winter day that I had to share. Yes, we still have our Christmas lights up. We're planning on taking them down. It's just been too cold to go out and take them down. So they'll probably come down at the end of February. But for now, this is the decorations I have at the front door. The welcome mat is from Target. The hearts are from the Dollar Tree. And I just kind of put those at the front door just so it would have something out there. And then on my front door, I usually keep a green wreath like this on the front door year round. And I add something to the front of it like this heart that I DIY. Also over on the Heidi Sambal DIY channel, you're gonna see a lot of these decorations here in my house, like this advent calendar for Valentine's Day. And then over at my desk, I love post-it notes and I always stick them on my cabinet because again, I write down my ideas or things that I'm working on and I just stick them there. Yep, I'm a nerd deep down inside. <laughs> Magneto's my favorite villain, so he just sits there on my speaker. And then this is the planner. I get asked all the time what planner I use. I'll link this one down below for any creators that are looking for a good planner. I like this one because it gives me a lot of space to be able to write down my day, my goals, my plans. I just really like this one. Plus every day has a little inspirational quote and I really like quotes. And then over to the left of my desk, I have a little metal tray that I've DIY'd and I corralled my pins in a little heart bowl and I added a little plant topiary behind it. Hey, real quick, my friend Shoshana has a really great spring video. If you're looking for some spring inspiration, I just wanted to give her a shout out because she is just such a good person and I love how faithful she is and she's such a hard worker. So I'm gonna link her down below for you to go check her out if you're looking for some spring inspiration. And I have some more spring stuff coming here on my channel, but for now, I just wanted to get in my Valentine's Day stuff because I didn't wanna not post it. This is another DIY, this heart rag wreath that I made. And then the pin board itself, I also made this out of an old frame that had a really old picture in it. I took it out and made it into a pin board. And these are all of my goals. I like to print them out and put them on this board. We would like to potentially sell our house this year, so I have that up on the board as motivation to get the house finished. And then, you know, just other goals that I have there. And this is one of my favorite quotes, expect nothing, appreciate everything. It just keeps me focused on the end goal, which is, you know, keep myself going and keep myself having fun with what I'm doing here. Over on the other side of the office is my piano that I painted white. It was a wood color, a very light wood color, like a honey wood color, and I painted it all white with chalk paint, and then I stained at the top and sealed it. And then this house is another DIY. Again, friends, you're gonna see a lot of this. I don't think it's really a surprise if you're coming over from my Heidi Sambal DIY channel, but I just really love doing home decor DIYs. So, this crown right here, I actually picked this up on Amazon. I love crowns. I did not win it from a beauty pageant, <laughs> although I do really love beauty pageants. I've always loved them. It was something my grandma loved, and I don't know, I just always have loved them. And then up here on the first shelf, I just have this cute mini cloche that I found on Amazon, a family tag sign that I found at Hobby Lobby, 
the heart shiplap sign I made that one the clock is antique farmhouse and you know just all these little things that I've been picking up over time that I just love so much by the way this candle smells so amazing I'll also link all of the brackets for my shelves on my links down below in the description box and then this fan is just a vintage fan I found a long time ago when I found it it actually still had the plug and I had to cut it off because holy smokes it's not safe to turn on at all and then this mirror I also found and painted it white and made it look farmhouse looking and then I made this little garland wreath decor I don't know what to call this but these dangling hearts I love them and then on the other side of my office I like pretty home decor but I also like things to be functional because it's not a useful space if you can't actually organize your stuff so I have these two prints that I found at home goods these two baskets I found at home goods and in one of them I have some old books with some greenery in it with a tied ticking stripe fabric and then the other one is actually for my mail over in the front room I have this tall tiered tray I liked the spacing between them so I could get tall things down in there and I just filled it with some things this calendar that I am so bad about always changing the dates so what I like to do is I actually just pick the day of the holiday so Valentine's Day is the 14th, which is my dad's birthday, by the way. Happy birthday early to my dad. And then I just put the actual date <laughs> of the actual holiday. Back over by the front door is this ladder that I DIY'd. I actually found it on a trash day, believe it or not. Someone was getting rid of this old ladder because they must have gotten one that was newer. And I just cut it apart and painted it. Basically it was free and I just put on these cute blankets. I love blankets in our house and so I always keep blankets by the front door. I get asked about our rug all the time. We got it from Home Depot a long time ago. It was on clearance and we make sure that we clean it about every month or two depending on the weather outside to keep it looking clean and new. And then over at the front room, I've said this before here on my channel, we got this couch from Costco it's no longer in stock but they do have some that look a lot like it and we always get them in january february time because they actually bring the couches to the store and they actually mark the price down from the website versus buying it in the store because you don't have to pay the shipping fee this tic-tac-toe board right here i diy this as well it's just made with a bunch of tongue depressor sticks from the dollar tree again the hearts and then some twine I'll have that video again linked below and then this heart bowl is the same version that's over at my desk it's just larger and I found that at home goods the pillows I'll link all of those those are over at Amazon I got all of them there except for the big large white one I got that from Ikea we're so lucky because we actually have an Ikea right by us and then this big drum I picked this up at Home Goods and I found one that's online. I'll link that one down below. The only thing is, is it's not white unless they've updated it on Amazon. But I got that at Home Goods and I actually got a larger one and a smaller one. Oh wait, not Home Goods. That's a lie. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I'm so sorry. I got it last spring at Hobby Lobby. And then this fringe pillow, I got it on Amazon. I saw it and thought this would be so fun because Miriam is so girly why not have a fringe pillow for valentine's day she has the duplicate of it in her room and she loves it so much up on top of our cabinets these are ikea cabinets i'll link them down below i have some more diys the love sign i made and the other one p.s i love you i also made that one and then i just put some other things up there some greenery i don't like to put too many things up here because i like to keep the eye you know simple and then we have some church magazines and right underneath our TV we have, I have a bunch of stacked up books, some that I DIY'd for Valentine's Day and some that are just books without their covers on. I get a lot of my books either at thrift stores or at the Dollar Tree. If they're thicker looking, I'll buy them there for a dollar too. 
And then I get asked all the time about what's inside of my cabinets. Here they are. This is what's inside. The first two are loaded with scrapbooks. I was a diehard scrapbooker for 13 years and then I took a break for about six years. I actually just started back up my paper crafting channel. I'll link that down below if you're interested and I have a video that's coming out really soon. And then the other two cabinets, one is for games and TV console type stuff. And then the last one over to the right has all of the school stuff that we've been using and arts and crafts stuff that I use with Miriam. The thing I think I like most about these cabinets is that they are soft close, which is so fantastic because it allows it to not slam and break over time. And then inside of the glass part of this hutch, I just have some things that we use daily and then some decor stuff that I just love and I like to keep in here safe. This little nesting doll was part of when Jason proposed to me when we were dating and they're actually from Russia because he served his mission there for our church in Russia, which is so cool. Yes, he actually does speak Russian, which is pretty cool even though he's Puerto Rican. And then over closer to the kitchen wall, I just have this cathedral window here and I put a screw actually in it. Before I put it in, I drilled a tiny little hole so it didn't splinter it. And then I just hooked this little basket on here with some greenery in it. But this is our front room. It's not a super huge space. We are definitely looking for a new house just because we, when we bought this house, our kids were much smaller. And now I have a 17 year old who, when he lays on the couch alone, can take up the whole thing. <laughs> but it's our space and it does work and we do love our home. Oh, I also get asked about my curtains all the time. I pick these up at Amazon. I love them. I have them in all the living spaces, the rooms at the windows. I love the rings at the top and I just think that they're a great quality curtain. So I'll link that down below as well. Over in the kitchen area, you're going to notice that there used to be a wall here between the two rooms and I ripped it down myself. We still need to finish all the floors in our house, carpet and the hardwood and the tile. So we still have that project to work on, but right behind the couch, I have our table. I've got a bench between the table and the couch. Right now, our couch is facing this way because I just wanted to switch up our furniture. I like moving my furniture around. And so in like another month, I'll most likely move it back the other way. But for now, over on my table, I have this really large Lazy Susan and I put all of these glass jars on them and I put treats inside of them for Valentine's Day. And I love these jars because I can hear whenever my kids open them so I can bust them and say, hey, don't take any treats out of the jars. And then, you know, at a certain point when they've done a good deed, then I'll say, okay, you can go get a treat from the jar. These mirrors are new. I picked them up from Hobby Lobby when they were on sale and I got three of them and I love how they look here on this wall. And this is the view standing in the kitchen looking out towards the office and the front room. Our kitchen, again, it's not a big space but it works for our family. And we decided to put this island right here. This is from Ikea with these chairs and I love it because it gives us extra seating without it being too crowded and it gives me a nice workspace. The other side of the island has some shelves so I can put my pots and toaster and all that kind of stuff. But on these stools, I thought it would be really cute. I used this ribbon from the Dollar Tree to tie on these little wreaths. And then on the end of the island, I have this bar from Ikea. I have these also down in my craft room and I'm gonna be showing my craft room really soon. But I hung up these dangling hearts that I DIY'd some towels, and I always keep this little pot with that greenery there. Here is my cute farmhouse bell. When I wanna get people's attention, I just ring that. And then over here in the kitchen, I keep out the things that I use a lot, which is my mixer. These are my favorite timers. I have one for each kid, so I can put these timers on to know what I've asked people to do. So I'll link the timers below. And then this tray and these little people, I DIY these over on my home channel. The little bow one is obviously Miriam. And then sometimes I like to burn more than one candle and I like when the smells come together. So I have one burning in the kitchen as well. And these are our floating shelves. 
the back splash of this wall. I painted that on with a stencil and then on the shelves, I really am a minimalist in my kitchen. I like to keep just a couple mixing bowls and measuring cups. I like to keep the plates out that we actually use. I don't like to have a lot of extra clutter around this space because it's not a very big kitchen and I just think it's how it becomes more functional for me. On the counter, I keep our butter, a container to corral all of the stuff I use for serving food. And then over to the right, I have two large jars that has one for oatmeal, one for cereal and our napkins. And then over on the other side of the kitchen, I have a big clock up and then this bar to hang up all of my aprons. I have a collection of aprons and I always bring them out for different holidays. The dark curtain is actually our pantry and then the other light curtain that's into the boys room. Here is our backyard. If you want to see all the snow, we ended up getting a trampoline. It was supposed to be for Christmas and I gave it to our kids early because of everything that's going on. Our family is really trying to stay home and be safe and none of us have caught anything yet, which is great. So we got them a trampoline early and they love it. They just go outside and bounce a bunch whenever there is not snow. And then this is the view from my hallway, my signs, the bath one, I got it from a boutique store in Utah. And then the kitchen one, I will link that. Here is the final view. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit chatty, but it's been a while, so I thought I would just talk you through anything that I haven't shown here in a while. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great week. Leave a comment down below to let me know if you decorate for Valentine's Day. I know not everybody does. And if you're feeling interested, here are some videos from my DIY channel. I'm also doing a few giveaways. I'm doing a Dremel Toolkit giveaway over at my Heidi Sample DIY channel, a Cricut giveaway over at my Heidi Sample Paper channel, and then I have started a Heidi Sample Health channel. I have gained so much weight over this last year from all the stress of everything that I just thought it was time. And I'm going to share the whole journey. So if you're interested, I will link those all down below and at the end of this video. Thanks so much for stopping by our home and until the next episode, bye friends.